A five-judge bench of the Constitutional Court led by Deputy Chief Justice Richard Butera has unanimously quashed section number 25 of the Computer Misuse Act 2011, saying it's unconstitutional. They pointed that the section does not specify how a person's rights are violated, nor does it specify how and at what time the person is violated with his freedom, privacy and peace. The judges also added that, in accordance with Article 29, subsection A1 of the Constitution and the International Covenant on Human Rights and Freedom of Speech, the Act violates freedom of expression. I'm very happy the Constitutional Court unanimously, every member of that bench, said it was unconstitutional, it was illegal, and it was ambiguous, and it had to go because it is an affront to freedom of expression as enshrined in our Constitution in Section 29 of the Constitution. Court suspended all prosecutions under this section and ordered the government to compensate the plaintiffs. All cases based on this offence have to collapse because the Constitutional Court is very clear saying stop enforcing it. So no one has a authority to enforce it. Not the police, not the courts. They have to stop. Lawyer Irokiza commented on the recent amendments made in line with the Computer Misuse Act of 2022, which he said violated the rights of Ugandans. Uh, the purpose was also ominous. The government saw that it was it, this law, which is bad, which has been declared now, was inadequate to oppress us who use computers. They decided to tighten the belts, the nuts even more, hence the Computer Misuse Amendment Act of 2022. Deborah Namamonde compiled this report.